Hey everybody, this is Ben Songroth with the Learning Technology Center of Illinois and today we're going to talk about creating separate Chrome profiles. So in this time of remote learning right now, we're in March of 2020 amidst the coronavirus and COVID-19 and remote learning. Um, we're having students that are coming home and using their home computers to do work to submit to uh, their classes. This is great, but it could be a problem if parents have Chrome on their computer and the parent is signed in and the student is signed in and they're not sure how to make sure that Chrome works for them. So a big thing that you want to do in this situation is teach your students, send this video out to them, send parent this video out to parents. Um, it's great for teachers to know how to use too and make sure you know how to set up separate Chrome profiles for separate users on your devices. This keeps everything separate. So this will keep your work account separate from your personal account. This will keep parent Google account separate from student Google account. Uh, you might have a situation where a student opens up a Google Drive file from their account but their parent is signed into Chrome and all of a sudden they get switched over to their parents account and they can't figure out where that file went or anything like that. So really important to make sure you know how to do this and educate everyone that's using Chrome at home on a MacBook or on a PC how this works. This doesn't apply to Chromebooks because Chromebooks are signed in with Google Chrome accounts and so that once that account's in, that's the only account that can be joined. So make sure you understand that. So now let's look to make this happen. So what happens all the time is that I see teachers uh, that they click on this picture up here in the top right hand corner of their Google screen. When they click on that, they go to add another account. This isn't the way to do it. What this is gonna do is this can confuse your Chrome account or your Google account that's on your Chrome profile with what Google account you actually wanna be in. So I don't suggest doing this right here at all. What I'm gonna suggest that you do is instead, go just a bit higher than that. So go up to this account, uh, circle right here, this avatar. When you click on this circle, now you will see this is your account. You should see sync is on. If it's not, I suggest turning it on. It's good to sync your account, so that way if you open it up on your home computer or you open it up on a Chromebook, your bookmarks are gonna sync. Everything's gonna sync, so that's really helpful. And then if you go down, you can see I have this thing, it's called other people. I have a lot of different Google accounts. So these other people accounts here allow me to jump and keep things separated. So if I wanted to jump to my training domain account, I can click on Ben person four, and that's gonna open up my training domain. Everything is separated out. This is a separate Google Classroom. You can see up here, this is Ben at gtrainerdemo.exploringedtech, not LTC Illinois. So how do you add that account? How do you add that second account? How do you add that student account or child account? Click again on your profile picture up here on your avatar. Go down to add. When you go to add, you get the sign in box. You're going to want to add a person. So I'm going to add my son, Ryder. You choose an icon for him. He's a little monkey. He's only three, but he's got his first Google account already. Then we scroll down to add. So now we've added Ryder. You can see a new Chrome window pops up. So what this means is it's going to ask me to sign in as that new user. So this is where you have your student, your kid uh, sign in. So when they click sign in, they just have to put in their account information. And then their password. And now they're in. So when this pop box pops up, I'm gonna say yes, link my data. When that happens, that's now gonna ask me, do you wanna turn on sync? I'm gonna say yes, I wanna sync my account. Now, notice my bookmarks all come up. So these are writer's bookmarks now. Comes across, he's got his bookmarks. We click on Gmail, it goes to his Gmail account, not mine. It knows which Gmail to load. Uh, and then it also has all of his Chrome extensions up here. So what I've seen in the past is that students will try to submit a file and it won't work in Google Classroom because somehow they got switched over to their parents' Google account. So keep this in mind. Educate your students maybe on how to do this, send this home, uh, be free to share it with whoever you think it might be useful for. But for me personally, I use this all the time. You can see on a Mac, I can go up to people and I have all of my different accounts here. So this is great because this is work and this is personal. And I keep everything separate. My bookmarks are separate. All my account logins are separate. Work is over here on this Chrome profile. Personal stuff's on this Chrome profile. Student stuff is on this Chrome profile. So that's your tip of the day. Good luck out there and be sure to wash your hands.